Alright you guys, Yap here, and I'm actually not supposed to be posting this match. I was planning to post a new gameplay on Invasion with the foul, but with the recent outbreak of, as you know, boosters, uh, I encountered two people in this match who pretty much pissed me off because they were boosting. Uh, Party in the USA won, who was on my team, and obviously he's a fag and in love with Miley Cyrus and his friend only used my knife which sounds like a very cheap knockoff of somebody we all know and probably love uh, only used me blade now party in the USA one got a better score than me he went 62 and 3 I went 62 and 5 but even if I told you the score please do not close the video now because it's actually a very entertaining gameplay so uh, he went 62 and 3, I went 62 and 5. But his friend went 0 and 60. Now, not only that, but Party in the USA only got, only killed his friend, only need my knife. Now, if you'll check the kill feed, every kill Party in the USA gets is on only need my knife, and it's always a headshot. Obviously, these guys were boosting, and that just pisses me off that they would actually go into a match and start boosting like if if uh, you want to just go into like a cage match or something where there's no witnesses but going into a public game of domination just pisses me off not only because of the fact that he was boosting uh in a public game like domination but also because he was uh uh, but also because he, he didn't help the team at all because he was too busy trying to get headshots. And right here, I plant the airstrike on the wrong side of the map. So I'm like, what the hell happened? And this part pissed me off. Uh, uh, look at this. A skill! Oh, shit. Okay, so, sorry about my rant on the boosters in public game types. But if you want to boost, just go into, like, cage match or something where there's no witnesses. Don't go into a public game type like Domination. Every time I see boosters, I will always go and screw them up. There was once a pair of boosters on Skid Row, playing do I was playing Domination. They were boosting at the back, near the A flag, but all the way in the back where those crates are. You could climb up on them, and then there's like a little hiding spot. That's where they were, and uh, I would constantly go over there, smash their tactical insertions, kill the guy the booster was trying to kill, etc so if you see boosters just go screw them up for me anyways uh we have a game of domination on high rise today and another gameplay with the spaz 12 i'm on second <coughs> sorry i'm still sick uh gameplay with the spaz 12 on high rise now like i said in my state video spaz is one of my favorite shotguns actually not one of it is my favorite shotgun mainly because of its range, power, and all-around effectiveness. But the only downside is that for every shot for every shot that it shoots out, it has to pump. That's what she said. But uh, and here I got two nice kills. I just want to say right now that later on in the video, I'll start s I'll I will start to spawn rape them, but uh, one of the guys was AFK, so I feel bad for him, but I got like three kills on him so that shouldn't affect the overall score too much so i just wanted to get that out now now when on high rise using anything close quarters smg shotgun it is always recommended to take the underground passages but the guys i'm playing against i can tell that they are not that good at all they're actually quite pathetic so i know that i don't have to stick underground the whole time there's a guy shooting and i know he's in the building on top like on the top floor of the building up there on the left but I don't want to try and go get him, so I decided to just rape his teammates. And I'm looking for that sniper that just disappeared. Hmm. Anyways. Uh, yeah. When using a shotgun or SMG, it is always recommended to stay to the lower passages. But these guys, as you can see from that guy's slow reaction time of turning around, these guys aren't the best around. So I'm not too worried about, about uh, getting caught in the open. This guy's just waiting outside, but he's scrambling my radar, so he's so I know he's there. And uh, I think, yeah, uh, high rise is a very easy to learn map. The spawn points are very simple, especially. <coughs> <coughs> so
sorry. Especially on the A point, the uh, spawn points are very easy to find. The spawn points are in that corner I just passed. Wait, if I turn around again, I'll show you. And all these guys had painkiller because I was just raping them so badly. I think this is where... No, it's not. So a spawn point is right there in the right corner of this room. There's also a spawn point all the way down the hall over there to the right. And these guys just don't know where I am. Uh, these guys just keep camping here. It's really pathetic. And, and, and this part would have pissed me off if I would have died. Because the guys in the last stand, I'm like, die, damn it. But he finally dies. And as you can see, the uh, booster, party in the USA, and only need my blade. Uh, only need my knife. Party in the USA is still getting headshots on him. So, if any of you play on PS3, uh, actually don't start sending them shit. Don't do that. And this pissed me off, because this was like montage worthy. But as soon as I was about to get the final kill, oh, he threw a Semtex at me. Oh, dead. So, if you guys see boosters in public matches, don't be afraid to go screw them up. They'll get pissed at you, but at least you're doing the right thing. Uh, yeah. That's my public announcement of the day. And that's the guy I was talking about who's AFK. This guy over here. Poor guy. But at the end of the match, he goes like 8 and 20, I think, or something like that. I'll check at the end. This guy's pink. Damn, the pink killer. Okay, so my question of the day to you is... Uh, and luckily, I knifed the guy who was AFK. Uh, who wasn't AFK, so the other guy just stood there staying. Oh, whoa, cool, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> my question of the match for you guys. Hmm. And that should have been a collateral because I was right in front of them. But anyways, uh, question of the day, what should it be? Hmm. Now, a lot of you guys agreed that the Model 1887s, although they should have been patched, they are now pretty much useless which is what i n agree on as well so i'm glad other people share my point of view and even if you don't i don't really care because it's your opinion and i shouldn't be allowed to change it uh, hmm. uh, the question of the match should have something to do with boosters since there's there's those two guys in there hmm. Okay, my question of the match for you guys is, have you guys ever encountered boosters in a public game type like Domination or Team Deathmatch? Or even like Sabotage or something like that? If you guys have, tell me what you did to try and stop them. And, and if you didn't just say, I didn't do anything, I really don't mind. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I kill this guy, but he appears to throw a Semtex. That just screws up my whole day again. Boom. The match is almost done. Uh, Marathon Lightweight and Ninja, pretty much the best perks for rushing. You could also switch it off for a shotgun because it will give the... Not, you could also switch it off for stopping power because it will give the shotgun longer range. But Marathon I would probably recommend for rushing. Ninja Pro or Steady Aim Pro would do. And as you can see, Party in the USA went 62 and 3. And just rewind a bit and his friend went 0 and 60, only need my knife. So until next time, that's it. So I'll see you guys later.